All right. Hey guys, it's me, Little Squawker, and I will. I decided to do my book haul now because I realized, like, now that I have all my books right here, because I did get some new books yesterday, um, I just decided to do it so that way I could get it out of the way first. And so, without further ado, let's get started. I got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 books. I'm including this month and um last month as well because I did get like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I got 7 books yesterday from Goodwill. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's get started. So the first book I got... um. It is part of the booktube tours. If you have not watched my last video, I'll link that down below. And, sorry, you would know that I got The Last of the Fire Drakes by Farrah Amberhoy um, as part of the booktube tours. And the booktube tours is when you apply to become a booktube host. And after you become chosen as a booktube host, you apply for several books you want to be a part of. And so you have to fill out an application and everything. And so then the publishing company chooses you to sponsor the book. So here I am sponsoring the book. So thank you so much to Wise Inc. Creative Publishing Company and Thera and, and the person who hosts the book to tours is Grace over at Loving Dumb Books and she is an awesome person and literally she is goals in life because she has so many connections and I'm just over here like ah. So check her channel out. I will link her channel down below as well. Um Check out um, The Last of Fire Drakes. The author also has a giveaway going on where you can win this book as well and read the awesomeness that's going on. I haven't changed much with my reading pace. I'm still on page 149, so my goal is to get to at least to the 200s. Um, but I will also be cleaning today, so that over there might look... Yeah. That over there might look different. So we'll see what happens. Okay, and the next books I will be showing you... <clears throat> are the books that I got for my birthday and my birthday was last month and so I also did a big birthday haul so I will link that down as well if you guys want to watch that and I also got some other little things there as well so the first thing I got I actually got a whole entire series I got the Raven Boys um quar quartet by Maggie Stryfodder and oh my god I'm so excited to read these I've been wanting to read these for quite some time and I didn't realize I wanted to read them until um, Blue Lily, Lily Blue came out. And I was like, Sh I need to read the series. So I'm very excited that I got this series. And yeah, so there's that. Ah. Okay, the next book I got, I also got with my TBR. I will link down my TBR video down there as well. And I got the Six of Crows by Leah Darbugo. And I'm very excited to read these book, this book. I mean, can we all just talk about the pages? They're freaking black. So, I'm very excited to read this book, and yeah, I'm excited. I'm just going to put that back over in my TBR pile. The next book I got, I got the last book of the Fifth Wave trilogy, and I got The Last Star. A lot of people have been bashing this uh, trilogy lately because Fifth Wave was so good, and then it kind of just went downhill from there. So, I'm planning to try to finish the series off next month, maybe, because the books are, like, this big, but the Fifth Wave was, like that so i'm gonna try to finish that off so the last star i say this as i'm trying to put it shoot i'm trying to put it back in its place there we go i also just screwed up oh, there goes my camera haha -ha. i was trying to set the book back <clears throat> the next book i got is art <clears throat> artisol and dante discover the secrets of the universe by benjamin arsel sains sayons yeah, so this book has actually won a lot of awards. I'll just quickly read them off. Um, they got the um, American Public, American Library Association, the Stonewall Book Award, the Pura Boupe Award, and the Lambada Literary Award winner. So this has won a lot of awards, and I believe this book is also a part of the LGBTQA plus community. So I'm very excited to read this book. I've been wanting to read this book for quite some time now. And the cover is just beautiful. So I'm very excited to read it. And I'm just going to set that down there and going to set that down there. The next book I got, it is a short little book, but it looked very interesting just by, based off the cover. And that is Drag Teen 
by Jeffrey Self. And again, I believe this book is also part of the LGBTQA plus community. And I'm very excited because you don't he see a lot of books that talk about drag queens. And so if this does talk about drag queens, oh my god, I'm so excited. Because I love me a good drag queen TV show, aka RuPaul's Drag Race. The next book I got, I got Dorothy Must Die by Daniela Page. And I am so excited to read this series. I've been wanting this series for quite some time now. And I am very excited that I got this. So, yay! And it's a flappy copy. So, And I love me a flappy copy. So, I'm, ve I'm very excited to read this series. Oh my god! Try to put it back where it came from. Okay, the next book I got, I got another overhyped book, and that is An, An Ember in the Ashes by Sabar Sabara Tahir. So, hope I said that right. And um, A Torch in the Light, A Torch in the Night just came out like not too long ago, so I wanted to get in the hype with it because this was an overhyped book and I didn't want to get it. The next thing you know, the next book comes out and, I, and everybody's reading it, and I'm like, I maybe want to get in this. So I'm excited that I got this book. So and I'm very happy. So there's that. And the last book I got in um my little book haul that I got is I Was Here by I Was Here, if I could talk correctly, by Gail Foreman. And I love Gail Gail Foreman's writing. I love Gail Foreman as a person. And I'm so happy that I got this edition cover of it because they then switched over to another cover, and I kind of like it, but then again, I like first editions better. So, yeah, I was going to put that back in its shelf. Okay, the next few books I got from Goodwill, except for the first one I'm about to show you. So, I'm very excited. The first book I got was The Favor Code by James Dashner, and I'm very excited because it is a signed copy. Let me quickly show you. He signed, a, he signed there, and then... He signed right here, and it says first edition 2016, James Dasher. Wicked is good. So, ah! So, I'm very excited. This is a lot bigger than the other books. Like, it's bigger than the Scorch Trials and the Maze Runner. So, I'm very excited to see what this holds. I will try to get finished off this series next month. We'll see what happens. The next book I got, I saw this book by when Reagan over that, I think her name is Pursue Project read this and then I saw it at Goodwill and I just snatched it and that is The Nest by not Amy Poehler um Cynthia Diaprox Sweeney and this book is really interesting based off the um little summary thing basically it's about a family and they have first world problems basically and they are like whining about it and so I thought I would give this a read and I'm very excited to read it I'm very excited and this book, along with the next few books I am about to show you, are from Goodwill, so just gotta look. The next book I have is Anna and a French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, and this is the first book, I believe, out of the other one she has, and that is Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Boy Next Door, Door and Isla and the Happily Ever After. So I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this book. I wanted to get this book to see what it was like, but then again, I was unsure about it. Then when I saw it at Goodwill, I was like, I gotta get this. So, there is that. So, I might read this in February, along with the several other books that this author I'm about to show you next has, and that is Hello, Goodbye, and Everything in Between by Jennifer E. Smith. And so, I'm... Then, it, she also writes tiny books, but the last two books I have by her are kind of thick, but I'm gonna read a whole bunch of her books and Anna and a French Kiss next month and so Jennifer E. Smith writes a lot of um lovey dovey books and yeah so we'll see what happens from there. The next book I got I have it's I've been wanting this book for quite some time ever since I read the book thief and that is I am I am the messenger by Mark Suzak and oh my god I'm very excited to read this book. I have been wanting this book for quite some time now and so I'm ah I'm excited to get this book. Okay Second to last book I got, I kind of got it as a classic, but then again, I love me a good classic, and that is the Tales of Edgar Allan Poe, illustrated by Fritz Fr Friction Bird by Random House Publishing Company, and oh, I'm so excited. I love Edgar Allan Poe. I feel like he's a, like 
a well-known author, but yet not a lot of people know of his writing, so they just need to explore this. And I love it with the jacket off because it has, like, this little thing right there, so... Okay, the last book I have, I swear to God, this is the last book, and that is the Insurgent Collector's Edition by Veronica Roth, and when I was looking at this when I was at Goodwill, it actually has How to Throw Your Own Faction Party, so that might happen later on. So, yeah, and I'm very excited. The cover is gorgeous. It's freaking shiny, and there's a little bookmark thing at the end of it. I'm happy. So, yeah. So, yeah, that is my 20 books book haul. I'm combining it with September and October. So, if I do get some more books later on this month, I will put it in a separate video. So, like, I don't have to keep, like, adding it right here. So, I will make a separate video in case I do get more books later on this month. I don't think I will because I have, like, 20 right here. And I need to reorganize my bookshelves once again. So yeah, th uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what how many books you got this month. And this is probably the biggest haul I've ever got, so I'm very excited. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. My name is Gillian. I make videos every single weekend and not every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday because of my schedule getting hectic. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!